Okay, good morning. Looks like I'm running out of battery. I had like 70% last night, but I guess the cold affected it. Either way, I'm uh, five miles out of TLC Ranch, grab some water, and then head out. Should be about a 31 to 33 mile day, depending where the last water source is. And then I'll be in Grants uh, tomorrow night or Wednesday morning. So feeling pretty good after 15 minutes of like warming up my body. No more aches, no more limps. But uh, yeah, let's get this day going. Let's see ya. Okay, looks like I made it to the TLC Ranch. I'm gonna grab some water. Hopefully unload a couple of pounds of food. Uh, I'm gonna get some miles in here without hurting. But uh, this is what I think it is. Welcoming directions say go past the homestead, which is right there, old building, and head towards the metal shed. Uh, there'll be a red spigot, and uh, yeah, hopefully, a hiker box and maybe some other hikers. Who knows? But uh, all right, guys, I'll see ya. I'm just leaving uh, the TLC ranch up there. Definitely longer than anticipated, about an hour. Uh, man, what a fantastic family. Uh, Larry and his family, it's basically the first year uh, opening their home up, essentially to hikers. But they offered me biscuits, coffee, I mean, whatever else I needed. Great place to stay. Um, unfortunately, I won't be staying, but man. When you meet people like that, it just makes you, I don't know, just you know, feel good about humanity, I guess. If, you know, or just kind of restores your faith in people, especially when you're in the restaurant industry and you see kind of the worst in people at times. But uh, if you're uh, watching this and you're a hiker, please come stop by, uh, donate. It's their first time. Um, it just be good ambassadors of the trail. So, alright guys, I'll see you later. So I'm just gonna do a quick daily update. I am extremely beat, did about 34 miles today. And I did the Kaboya uh, alternate. I have about a one more mile until uh, the 117. And I think I have about 25, 26 miles um, into Grant, which is gonna be fantastic because I'll be there tomorrow and I'll get a hotel room. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. I've busted my ass to get here, no zeros. 
feet are blistered. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. Um, I got to stop at the TLC ranch and those were fantastic people. Um, but I, yeah, no other hikers today. Um, I saw a, a bicyclist going the opposite way um, who was a, uh, she was like CDT class of 2017. Um, she saw hikers in front of me. I guess Alan Waldo in front of me as well. So maybe I'll see them in town. That'd be really good because that'd probably be the last time I'd, I'd ever see them uh, since I'll be getting off trail for a couple weeks at least. Um, but yeah, it's windy. It's going to be a cold night, probably below freezing. I'm going to just set my tent up right here. It's kind of blocking the wind, which is over there. Um, but it should be a nice, comfortable night. I have my uh, Western Mountaineer sleeping bag. But uh, it's 25 degrees, but it's it's really warm. Actually, too warm sometimes. But uh, yeah, nothing else to really report. See you guys. Good night. All right, good morning. Well, this is what my uh, next 27 miles will look like. Giant fat road walk. I know I said earlier in my first video that I'm not about hitchhiking when there's miles to be hiked. <laughs> but it sounds pretty good right now because this, this is pretty shitty. Honestly, like I'm on the side of the road. There's not even like a trail or a path on the grass and it's like crooked concrete so i'll be limping my way into grants i might do the rim trail though we'll see i'll get up there and see like how much extra adds right now i have 27 miles into grants and i'm really excited for a hotel room um even if i stay solo and i even hope there's a basketball game on tonight pizza beer basketball Ooh. Man. All right, guys. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna check out the Mesa Rim. See if it, uh, our South Narrows picnic area. See if it, uh, takes me out of the way quite a bit. If not, I'm doing it. See ya. steps in. Definitely don't regret my decision. It's beautiful. So I'm on top of the Mesa Rim Trail, and this trail is absolutely fantastic. It's beautiful up here. Basically, it's just all lava fields all down there. It reminds me a lot of uh, Northern California, Oregon, uh, from the PCT, but very happy I took this trail. Um, definitely setting me back a bit, but I was so tired of road walking and walking on dirt roads and not having any trails that I don't know I probably would have <laughs> regretted not taking this route just to get into town a little bit sooner those type of things kind of eat at me even though it's not really a big deal but I would have gotten over it but still you know like when you pass up something pretty cool it's kind of gut-wrenching when you don't do it um, but yeah super 
amazing trail very rocky very sandy highly recommend it if you're able to camp up here before getting into grants that's the way to do it fortunately i was only like seven miles out last night uh, so camping up here wouldn't be ideal but uh yeah see ya <laughs> Unreal. Wow. I don't know how to get down. Hopefully I get bush before I my way down. I guess this is where the trail ends. That's not good. Alright, so it looks like I have to do a little bit of bushwhacking. I think my route's gonna be going down here. Hopefully, there's no drop off. But, uh, I'm the one way to find out. All right, here we go. <laughs> so far, I'm doing pretty well. Looks like I'm uh, Bear Grylls in this thing. Pretty epic adventure. Probably like 75% sketchy, but 25% is good enough for safety. <laughs> Finally a little bit of adventure though, right? All right, I'm, looks like I'm almost down. Looks like the route, just gonna go down there. It's steep, but looks safe. And I don't think I'm the only one that's done this. So, see right, on the so this is the extremely sketchy part. Basically it's like a slide that goes down. Let my bag drop, it's just so nothing weighs me down or it doesn't make me fall backwards. Less impact, but I'm gonna go for it. I'll see ya. Oh man, I literally, <laughs> good thing I used to climb because I just basically braced myself until there and then I just went for it, slid down, but luckily there's some soft dirt. I don't think I hit it though, but I'm good, not hurt, almost down. Whew. All right, so I made it down. It looks pretty damn sketchy. <laughs> I don't know, I was up there somewhere. I think I came down that way. Sometimes those trees stop my fall. Um, I'm alive, a little beat up, but sadly we lost the Sawyer squeeze today. So definitely had our casualties, big casualty. Uh, I'm by a road, like a rest stop. Hopefully, I could get some water, but if not, I guess that's a good reason to hitch, huh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, I made it. Probably wouldn't recommend going down that way. Um, but good thing I used to climb when I was a kid, a lot of trees and rocks and stuff because, man, I had to use some of those professional rock climbers moves to come down. I had to basically like shimmy my body between two rocks just to get down, maybe like 15 feet. It was a lot of fun. It's still scary, and especially when you get older, you don't have the same reflexes, but I made it out all right. A couple of loose rocks got me, and then there was some cactus that poked me. But yeah, made it out okay. Just uh, minus one Sawyer squeeze, which is kind of a big deal. shoulder come on CDT Look at us land we're passing now we should be walking up on top of there oh well still beautiful down here <laughs> all right so I am at the L Mapias Mapias <laughs> oh man my last name is Estrada I'm such disgrace but yeah Elma PS and um, about nine miles uh, out of Grant I'm beat but it's so true what they say about town legs man I've been jamming so I'm about 18 miles into my day and uh, 
that's even with that like I don't know, probably about an hour and a half excursion, sketchy cliff climb down of the Mesa Rim. Um, I mean, if I didn't do that, I would probably have town by three. I think I'll be there about 4:30. Um, still fantastic for 27 miles. Imagine me getting to town at three and I did 27 miles. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, I mean, food, rest. Those are all reasons to cut your brakes short and just jam. Most of us probably get a couple more blisters <laughs> just by running to for a pizza buffet or something, you know, which most towns offer. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just uh, finish up here, probably 15 minute break, caffeine up, a couple tablets of ibuprofen, because this road walk is brutal, and nine miles. I think I could do nine miles in probably about two and a half hours. You know, two, and a half, two hours, 15 minutes. That's the goal, at least. So um, if I do that, then just by four o'clock, I'll be in town insane and I know there's a subway right there so I'm gonna get subway meatball sandwich extra meatballs and some chips and Gatorade and that's just the first dinner and then for second dinner probably some kind of pizza delivery I'm supposed to share a room with this guy named Stacy I don't know something, something's wrong with him he went to the doctor today so hopefully he's, he's okay but I'm sure he's gonna be fine to eat uh, so maybe we'll order some pizza and just chill. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to enjoy this break. And I'll see you guys in town. Bye. Oh man, this is the longest road walk ever. I have about four miles into town. And I got to go take... Uh, number two. <laughs> okay. I think I'm uh, less than two miles away. See the town over there. Oh, so close. Okay. Damn. I made it. 27 miles. Just about four o'clock. And there's a subway. I'm going to hitch to the town of Grant. Uh, and then probably walk back tomorrow because I have a ride. Um, that way I don't lose any miles. But I am beat and I just want to get my package before the post office closes. New shoes. But yeah, I'll see ya. So this is day 16 recap. Two weeks and one day. I am at CDT mile. 540 in Grants, New Mexico. However, definitely way less than that. Probably maybe 450 miles hiked so far, which is still pretty good. Could be less. I gotta check into, oh man, this trail is so confusing with all the alternates and people don't even hike the certain sections of the real CDT. I don't know. But either way, last day on trail, monster day I uh, I mean it just started off just freezing cold because last night was below freezing but I was still able to get up fairly early and leave by 7 which no matter what time I wake up it seems that 7 o'clock is the time I leave no matter what um, I think it's just because the sun is able to come up over the mountains and warm me up a bit but I was able to pull in I don't know probably like 28 29 with the alternate route I did um, through the like the Mesa Rim or Mesa Trail uh, which was an adventure in itself just I had no idea it was an out and back trail so going down that was pretty sketchy but it was still fun uh, Sawyer squeeze broke on the way down I picked up all the pieces and and threw it out um, but thankfully it was it's my last day on trail so I'm able to um, replace it with that said it's been an interesting two weeks it hasn't always been easy and at times I wanted to quit and I still think about it I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do going forward um, but I'm pretty confident I want to finish the trail I don't like starting things and not finishing it 
Um, but at the moment, I'm extremely tired, and and we'll see. I think um, Montana will be beautiful. Definitely over the road walking, the gravel, loose rocks everywhere, sand. Man, I mean, even if you take a trail in New Mexico, it's not even, it's, it's terrible. It's like either straight up or straight down and your knees are hurting and you're sliding all over the place because there's loose rocks. It's rough for sure. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely have to embrace it. It's brutal. Uh, but slowly the hiking community has emerged and I've been able to socialize a bit more with other hikers, which has been great. Um, and with that, it's helped me um, just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of made me want to keep hiking because I enjoy the community, um, the different personalities. I mean, there's so many different personalities. These, some of these people you wouldn't even, you know, talk to or hang out with and vice versa. Like they would not want anything to do with you back in normal society. But out here, you're all connected and everybody has an awesome story. Um, and that's just one thing I, I really enjoy about this trail. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna sign out here in Grants, get all these videos posted so you guys can enjoy them. And then I guess uh, we'll wait and see what I do next. All right, bye.